Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the DNS over HTTPS privacy feature that's built into your Windows 11 computer. So DNS over HTTPS, abbreviated DOH, is a privacy feature that's built into Windows. So if you want to switch between fully encrypted and unencrypted network types, I'm going to show you guys how to go about using that feature. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best match, come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then select your internet connection type over here on the right. It should be near the top. It will either say Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So go ahead and open that up. And then if you scroll down on the right side where it says DNS server assignment, it might say automatic down here, DHCP, click the edit button, you click inside the drop down, and then if you set it to manual, and then if you select it turning on either IPv4 or IPv6, you have additional options down here to set a preferred DNS as well as encryption type too. So let's say we're doing the preferred DNS of Google, which I believe is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8, for example. If you set preferred DNS encryption, if you click inside the drop down, you have three options here unencrypted only, encrypted only, DNS over HTTPS, as well as encrypted preferred, unencrypted allowed. So the first one, unencrypted only, that's the default unencrypted DNS. If you set the second option, it's going to use the DOH servers only. And the third option will have the preference set as DOH, but we'll use the unencrypted DNS server if it's unavailable. So I think most of you guys probably would use the third option there. So I just came up with Google as a preferred DNS. There's plenty of other DNS servers here as well. And I believe the alternate DNS server for Google is 8.8.4.4. Just going off of memory there. But anyway, that's pretty straightforward on how you would set that. And then you would select save to save the change. And that's about it, guys. So Pretty straightforward process. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.